Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. This is a recap of the late night stream. And if you want to join me on my stream, uh, check out Good Free Photos channel. It'll be in the description and the comments. I am still streaming there every day except for Sunday. And also check out Crypto Daily Updates. One great update video a day for all your crypto needs. So let's get to the topic. Um, VeChain actually has a webinar tomorrow. It's called VeChain Toolchain. It's called VeChain Toolchain Webinar, and the topic is the missing part of mass adoption VeChain Toolchain. And in the description, it's the first volume of VeChain Bootcamp. VeChain CEO, co-founder Sonny Liu, will officially reveal the new features and other incredible details about VeChain Toolchain and its role in the adoption of VeChain to our blockchain by partners and clients. Um, that is going to be 9 a.m. Central Standard Time tomorrow, so less than 12 hours away. You can It's free, but you can actually register for it. I will leave the registration link. Um, I will leave the registration link in a pinned comment. So check that out if you're interested in finding more about VeChain and Toolchain. And maybe they'll give some kind of announcement, but I think it's more of just like an educational series. There will be a Q&A session, so you can ask questions all your questions about VeChain there. So check it out if you're really interested in VeChain, if you're invested in VeChain, or if you're looking to invest in VeChain, that's a good informational video. Obviously, if you ask troll questions, they're just gonna ignore you, obviously. So it's a pretty cool uh, session, and there will be Q&A at it as well. The second thing is in Charles's AMA, he seemed very, he, he is laser focused on getting Shelly uh, out by June. He wants to release the platform by June, um, once again, May 11th is going to be the friends and family testnet. A few weeks later, there'll be the beta testnet, and then they'll do the balance check, and then Shelly will actually come out. So we're still targeting end of June. I do think that's achievable, and he's laser focused on getting that out at the end of June. Um, from people within the camp, they say Gogan is going to be about a month later. So maybe end of July, beginning of August, we'll actually get Gogan, and then we can actually have products developing on Cardano. And at that point, we could have some kind of like mass adoption spur. Well, not mass adoption, but we can have like um, enterprises start really adopting it for their enterprise use. And because of that, we could actually see Cardano really go up because of utility. Remember, New Balance is already on Cardano's blockchain, even though they're not on Shelly yet. Once they migrate, they can get more enterprise stuff on it. Uh, developers can develop dApps on it, and Cardano can actually scale a lot better than Ethereum. And it will scale much, much sooner than Ethereum with smart contracts and everything else. So Cardano definitely will be there very soon, and we'll be watching that timeline very, very closely. I know Charles's AMAs aren't the most exciting thing, but he did actually give pretty good information in this one. He does ramble a little bit, but he does give very good information. And we're still looking at that timeline end of June, um, end of June, and then like maybe beginning of August, I would say for Gogan. So hopefully that actually comes to pass. The other thing is there's a lot of excitement about this Paul Tudor Jones guy buying BTC. That's actually not what happened, okay? So he is a hedge fund, man, hedge fund manager. He's worth billions of dollars, and he bought a Bitcoin future um, as a part of one of his funds. It's a single-digit percentage number in one of his many funds. And he didn't buy physical Bitcoin, so he didn't actually buy Bitcoin. He bought a Bitcoin future. I'm guessing he's long. Um, because it wouldn't really make any sense if it was actually short. But he didn't. He doesn't have any physical Bitcoin. He just bought a Bitcoin future. He said to actually hedge against. He actually said it was to hedge against the printing of money by the federal government, which sort of actually does make sense. Uh, but I think people are making way too much of it. They're making it seem like he bought a bunch of Bitcoin like directly uh, for himself personally or one of his funds. That's actually not what happened. He has a lot of funds as all these hedge manage, hedge fund managers do. And in one of those funds, he has a uh, part of that fund in a Bitcoin futures, but it's still a small part of one of his many funds. And he didn't directly buy physical Bitcoin. So don't get too excited about that yet, but it's still a good move in the right direction that these billionaires are dipping their toes into Bitcoin. So that is the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.